story to tell. After the high-profile crash of a Su-57 prototype during a test on December 24, 2019, China is somehow unimpressed with Russia's Su-57. However, there are some technologies that Beijing may still want to own. According to Top Gore, China appears to be having trouble with its domestic jet engine development program for fifth-generation fighters, such as the J-20 and J-31. The engine's performance did not meet Beijing's expectations. Specifically, the Xi'an WS-15 engine model China plans to equip the J-20 has too many technical problems and cannot be overcome. The WS-15, says Top Gore, as it turns out, is the unresolved problem of a sharp drop in the thrust of the WS-15 engine when the temperature of the turbine of the power plant approaches the operating parameters. When the temperature exceeds 1350 degrees Celsius, the engine loses its thrust, and initially the loss reaches 25%, which, for obvious reasons, is unacceptable for fighters claiming high maneuverability. In addition, the unstable engine operation can also cause the pilot to lose control of the aircraft in some situations. Chinese aeronautical engineers try to overcome this shortcoming of the WS-15 in the next version, but the engine's performance still decreased by up to 18% when the temperature was too high. According to Top Gore, China has not been able to completely solve the technical problems of the WS-15, which is the biggest reason why the J-20 plan to equip this engine model has not been implemented yet. Previously, at the end of 2019, the Chinese media stated that the country had achieved a major breakthrough in the technology of manufacturing jet engines for fifth-generation fighters, including the WS-15 engine. Some Chinese experts even assist they will not need to import engines from Russia when the WS-15 is mass-produced. China will apparently find another alternative to the WS-15, making no secret of its interest in the Estelite 30 engine that the Russians are developing for the Sukhoi Su-57 stair fighter line. According to some open sources, the Estelite 30 is rated to outperform the jet engines ever built by Russia before. As for China, the technology that Russia will use on the Estelite 30 is what it needs to fix the technical problems of the WS-15. However, it will not be easy for Russians to sell the Estelite 30 privately to any other country. The only way China can get the Estelite 30 is to order a limited quantity of the Su-57 from Russia, as it did with the Sukhoi Su-35 with the Saturn AL-41 engine. This can be seen as an effective solution for Beijing to accelerate its domestic engine development program.
the Chinese media continue to discuss the situation that arose after the fall of the fifth generation Russian fighter at the time of the acceptance tests. However, Chinese military experts still appreciate the combat qualities of Russia's Su-57 fifth generation fighter. Su Wangju, a spokesman for the Chinese Association for Arms Control and Disarmament, suggests that China's purchase of the latest Russian fighters is likely. Earlier, it was reported about the possible purchase of a limited batch by China for study. It is reported that India is also capable of becoming interested in the Su-57 despite leaving the joint program. The reason is that, unlike China, India does not have fifth-generation fighters in service and will not create them on its own in the near future. Thus, both China and India can purchase Su-57 fighters. The Su-57 is the latest Russian fifth-generation multifunctional fighter. Its main feature is the combination of sufficient style with high maneuverability. My video about China and Su-57 ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.